My uh, original intention in starting the Invincible Essences was to really empower women and actually a lot of men buy the oils too. But I've done a little first aid kit that you just keep in your um, bag. Any emergencies, it has lavender, manuka oil, which is like the New Zealand tea tree oil. Um, just at any given time, somebody's always got an upset, upset stomach or needs calming. So this is a way. And truly, just to take um, the power back to heal your, yourself and your family. And also, they are the highest quality oils. They're all GS, MS tested through the grass spect. So they're all uh, food grade. Um, and they, it was just my way of, of giving a really incredible product that is very usable in these times because I really believe that they are the healing, the, <clears throat> the healing of these times. Ancient oils, because you know they've been around like 5,000 years, anything that's been around that long has truth in it. So I think we're just bringing the ancient oils back to life. The practical question of uh, how to use the aroma oils um, <clears throat> on a physical level, you know, we have a mortal immune, which I just rub on my feet every night, and then within 20 minutes, that's strengthening the whole immune system each night because we're just bombarded in this environment with all kinds of toxic chemical toxins. Um, and then I have little car diffusers. I like to put fern needle because when you're driving in traffic or in the city, it smells like you're walking in the forest. It's great. And there was no car diffusers that didn't have synthetic oil or that I could find. So I have a little pot to make them. And then um, the aroma oils are really the key for this time and age because you, they're non-invasive. You know, um, you can usually just put the oils on people, but um, without having to take all this kind of medication and everything. Like. Mm -hmm. um, the personal customized blend, um, you fill out a, a form online, and that gives me um, what to go on, on whether you'd like floral, oriental, spicy, and then I have a little consultation with you on the phone, see where you are in your life, what, what transitions or what you would like to um, attain, and then I make the blend um, according to the cycles and um, to your preference. Mm. Yes, as much as I can, I um, try and do the, the blends on the new moon. Um, I put them on a crystal slab. I have um, Shung Delight, which um, helps any negative vibrations. I have Punamu, a stone from New Zealand, and sometimes I put little stones in them to amplify it. And um, then I always, I just have it silent. I make sure that I'm not gonna be interrupted. I definitely put all of the intentions and prayers and mantras into them. I mean, this is just the backdrop, but it really intensifies the vibration of the oil. Mm. And then we have these, these are, um, the most amazing these are this is uh, quartz crystal this is for the perfumes so when you put here's a little stopper when you put the oils in here then you get the frequency of that crystal this is quartz it magnifies things this is um, this is a, a lapis one so it's going to enhance the intuition and they're just I mean they're just so nice to use too because usually um, you know a lot of people when you use pure essential oils, it just gives it that nice little ritual touch of putting them on. And worth it. Um, just start trying the oils. Just start using them. You can use them in every day. Like I always put tea tree oil in my dish soap, and that's because all the um, aroma oils are antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, and antiseptic. Um, I put lavender on my bed, spray lavender each morning because that gets rid of dust mites and it just gets rid of the vibration of the sleep at night. Um, I put it in the vacuum cleaner, I put fern needles so it smells really nice. So just start reading about the oils. Like once you've read about 20 books on lavender, then lavender has a personality. It has a whole complex um, of what to use in it. Um, and then, but my thing is, get oils 
that are very well tested. And the only all the perfumes out there, like all the mainstream perfumes, are total chemicals. That there's hardly, if any, essential oils in them, and that's you know causing the allergies and everything. So, if you can use these perfumes, then you're getting the benefit of, of course, you smell really good. Uh, you have that secret accessory, um, but but other than that, it, you've got to have pure essential oils, and um, because then they're not they're not therapeutic. They're mm. not just perfumes, you know, and they're actually harmful. That's what causes the reactions and everything. I think you know we're in times that are challenging to say the least. And I think if we can start to go back to nature, go back to the oils, essential oils, because they're 25 times more stronger than herbs, and they really are powerful, then just notice the transformation on all levels, on all levels. I mean, it's very rare that you get something that works on the physical, emotional, spiritual.